Hi, in today's magic episode we'll try to mod simple Xiaomi M365 to Pro version. To do it, we need only simple Xiaomi Pro dashboard. It costs like $25 and thanks to it we'll be able to unleash True Beast. So, let's do it. As you can see, I removed whole steering bar. You don't have to do it, I just wanted to show you much better every single step which we have to do. So, at first we have to remove this top protector thing, as you can see this, this plastic one. In pro version looks like this. And actually I thought that there is a glue somewhere over here. And I start to cut it like this. So, around. But actually there is no point to do it. I scratched my beautiful top aluminum part, god damn. But what you have to do to remove this top protector thing? Just use a simple screwdriver, put it somewhere between this aluminum part and top plastic cover and just spray it. And as you can see, it can be removed quite easily. But take your time, just try, don't, don't break it, slowly and it's done. So. It looks like this, as you can see, it's quite easy to remove it. Now we have to get rid of this double tape we just left. That was actually quite fast and easy. Now we have to unscrew these three screws. One is on the bottom and two on the top. It's actually pop out quite easy. So this is how it looks. Now we have, I think, to cut this thing. So this plastic zip. Let's be careful, don't cut this rubber cover. That will be a tricky one actually. Let's try to start from this side. Cut it a little bit, but it's nothing actually. Okay, and now inside we've got cables. As you can see, there is no way to connect them differently than now because we've got this color, so just unpin them. This is old dashboard. As you can see, actually, Xiaomi scooter is manufactured by Segway 9Bot. So, goddamn, I have no idea why 9Bot is serious is so bad and Xiaomi's are so good. Lifespan, I mean that lifespan of is is super bad and there's like no spare parts. Why for Xiaomi we've got so many spare parts, which actually is the best thing. On the left we can see Pro Dashboard and yeah, old one got only four diodes and over here we've got full LCD screen and also somehow thanks to it we'll be able to unlock beast mode, so it's like only this dashboard is handling information if we've got pro version or simple version. On the back, as you can see, on all the dashboard we've got 9bot logo, so this is gonna win stuff, while on the pro is like no logo, so I think that this is some else manufacturer done it, but still it's working like some gonna win one, so I'm quite happy. Now, let's connect cables. So like I said, there is no way to mistakenly connect to different cables. So let's start with this yellow and white white one. It should go like, goddamn, like this. Black and green. Easy. And red, blue and black. 
If you connect all cables back to new Pro Dashboard, don't forget to use this cover for connectors. Just do it like this. Use some simple zip and it will be done. Check this one out like brand new, isn't it? Okay, gentle, don't cut any cables. Okay. Now let's place it back. As you can see, it fits perfectly fine. So I am quite happy. Now we have screw back all the screws. And it's done. Check this one out. We've got Pro Dashboard on old Xiaomi M365 Pro. It was super easy. And as you can see, it fits perfectly fine. I'm quite glad that Xiaomi didn't make any new top part of the frame because it will be quite hard to mod simple Xiaomi to a Pro or there will be no way, but it's super easy. Just change dashboard, upgrade the firmware and it's done. Of course, there is nothing to compare to old dashboard where it's only four bars. And somehow the only info that Xiaomi is Pro or simple one is storage only in dashboard. So by changing this part, you will get almost, almost Pro version. Now, quite important thing. If you will buy this Pro Dashboard, be sure that also you will receive this top protective cover. Because as you can see over here, we've got this transparent part. Thanks to it, you will see how fast we are going and other things. If you would like to fit old wonder, you know why, because as you can see over here, we've got only these four dots and it will not fit. So be sure to get this dashboard with this cover. Also, you should find two double tapes with extra cover for the top. So for this one, but in my case, this one looks still like brand new. So I will leave it like this. When you place it double tape, now you can remove this clean film from dashboard. Clean up bottom part of the cover. And now place it. It's not that easy. Oh, actually it's easy. Nice. Beautiful. Top cover seems to fit perfectly fine as you can see. Just this scratch which I done. Jesus Christ. Now let's place it back the string bar, connect all cables and upgrade the firmware. Let's turn on Xiaomi for the first time. So it looks like Bluetooth is blinking. I cannot change mode or turn on the lights. Now it's good time to upgrade the firmware. At first, let's connect to M365 tools. Okay, it's blinking as you can see. Is it showing any info? Yep, we can see the battery. So it looks like it will work. Nice. Let's back. And now we will upgrade the firmware. Oh, come on. Of course, M365 don't great. Let's connect. Let's check version. And now, open the file. Come on. And we are going Old to Pro, and as you can see, here we got three different firmwares for motherboard, for BMS, and for Bluetooth. So let's start with DRV and let's flash it.
this flushing. Nice. Okay. Do some beep. Now check version again. Good. Now you've got DRV155. Open the file again. Not this one. No. No, no, no. Download. Hold to Pro. And now BMS. And flash. We've got some error as you can see. It's beeping. So let's just wait. Sunset. Let's try to do it again. Is it working after the error? Yeah, it's still working. Nice. Let's check version again. Open the file. After a couple minutes, it's done. At least I hope. I hope because I've been able only to update the firmware on motherboard, so DRV, but I couldn't update the firmware for BMS and for Bluetooth for some reason, but it looks like it's working, so let's turn on the scooter. As you can see, Bluetooth LED is blinking. We can see how fast scooter is going. You can see how much juice left. I am able to turn on the lights to switch the modes, so Sport, Echo, D, and it looks like it's working, but I think more testing is needed. So far, as you can see, it was super easy to do it. Couple minutes and it's done. And I think it's quite hard to break this M365 because uh, when I tried to upgrade the firmware for Bluetooth or for BMS like 50 times, and every single time was some rally or the scooter just switch off by itself, then when I turn it on, it's still working nice, so I'm quite happy that it's quite hard to break it, so no worries. If you are new, newbie like me, then it could be done and it could be like no way to break this scooter, so to damage it. The commode is so slow, god damn. Okay, let's try the mode. So much mode, god damn. And the mode is better. Maximum is 18 and sport mode. It shows 27, 20, between 25 to 27. Sometimes I see 26. Okay. Yeah, if you would like to upgrade your Xiaomi Simple to Pro, you have to add extra battery. This is like must have, otherwise. Building battery will die pretty fast. For some reason. Maximum speed is 23 kilometers now. I think I will have to change the firmware to some better one. But so far I am quite impressed that it's working anyway. <laughs> Check this one out. Whoa.
In next episode I will show you better firmware for your modded Xiaomi M365 Almost Pro. As you can see now we can reach easily almost 29 km per hour and the battery is around 45%. If the battery will be over 60% then we can reach 32 km per hour. So stay tuned and subscribe for more.